to baymanteam.com. In this video, I'll show you the difference between Angular MVC and MVVN patterns. And we also dive deep into Angular JS two ways data binding, one way data binding with code difference. Let's start with Angular JS two ways data binding approach. Here we have MVC pattern where we have model which represent data from server, local storage, or users input. We also have view which shows us how page looks, some styles, etc. And the main thing here is controller, which represents main logic in our component or directive. Model can work with controller, controller can work also with view, and view also can work with model. But how they connect to each other? In AngularJS approach, by default, we use two ways data binding, which means that if you change model which is represented in view, you also change original model and vice versa. Let's see some examples. Here we have some default AngularJS CLI's project with simple form. Let's add some input and bind it to the model property using the model directive. Controller.model. Also, let's add some span tag to watch all the changes in our model. Also, controller.model. Now we see how all changes made in UI reflects all the changes in the controller's model property. The next step is initialization of this property inside component. AngularJS CLI by default uses Babel Transpiler. So in spite of the fact that AngularJS is an old framework, you can write on it using all ECMAScript 6 features. Let's initialize default value for model property. Here you see how it works. We know that model can be changed from UI, so let's try to change it from controller. To do so, we will use Angular's on init lifecycle hook. Uh, where we modify model's value. This model just adding modified string to the end. And let's alert it. After two seconds. So now, after two seconds, our model's value becomes ASDF plus modified. Which means that by default, AngularJS used two ways data binding, and when value changes in view, it also changes in controller. Let's dive deep into components based approach and MVVM pattern where we have model, view, and view model approach. In Angular, we specify logic into a single component, and we also can connect one component with another using services. Service also can connect many components or even modules, but don't overuse it, because it leads to complicated dependencies. If you can avoid service, it's better to avoid it. But how can we avoid services? In Angular, we also have input and output data bindings, where you can exchange data between nested components. So in this situation, you can make stateful and stateless components. Your main component represents the logic and nested just render it. But what about data binding and what differences between them? As we know, AngularJS by default uses two-way data binding and Angular 2 Plus uses one-way data binding. Let's check it out, by example. Let's add form element. Also, we have to specify its name to make it available for Angular. Let's add some input with the model name and bind it to model property, also using the model directive. Let's just output model's value through string defined. Also, we need two buttons. One button will log model's value to console. Let's add click event listener and bind it to the get function. Another button will change model's value from component itself. As you can see, nothing is happening here. To make it work, let's define model property inside component with the default value set from component. And then let's define get function which will console log components model value 
and set function which is supposed to change models value to changed from component okay let's type something then receive components value and it hasn't changed but when we change it through our set function and then receive components value we see that value has been changed but can we use two ways to combine it in angular 2 plus the answer is yes you can to do so you have to run your engine model directive like this let's save it and check and now when we change something in view it's automatically changed in model and vice versa to sum up in this tutorial we've learned about one way and two ways data bounding in angular and now we also know what the mvc and mvc patterns are thanks for watching if you like that kind of content don't forget to subscribe you also can find a full article about patterns and data binding on bmanteam.com. See you in the next video. Bye.